Hello fellow YouTubers and gamers, welcome back to my channel, it's me Will, and I'm bringing you my first gameplay on the re recently released Medal of Honor Warfighter. This is going to be my review of the game, and I'll let you know what I think and feel about the game. Uh, this was the very first game I did, and I did, when I was rendering this gameplay, I played, carried on playing a little bit more games with myself, uh, with uh, BHC Blues, and I also did some of the campaign. Uh, this rendering didn't come out come, uh, properly, it uh, was a uh, colours fading in and out, so I went in and redone the rendering. So, sorry, sorry, it's slightly late. Right then. What I think of this game? I think this game is very, very good. I mean, very, very good. I quite enjoy it. I'm enjoying the campaign, it's very good, and I'm enjoying the multiplayer. And what I'm going to do is give it, uh, I'm going to rank it on uh, certain aspects of the game, like uh, gameplay and all that, but I'm going to do it in online and also multiplayer and give it now uh, marks out of 10. Right, let's start off. We're going to start off with storyline, campaign. Campaign so far, what I've played is very, very good. I mean, absolutely good. Uh, it is based on uh, virtually mo the modern day uh, uh, battlefield, and I think um, battlefield uh, ba battles which have happened uh, in the last few years. I think it's very, very good, and it's re so realistic. Uh, if you stick a head out and somebody snipes you, you could lose it. Uh, sniping is the same as Battlefield 3. You have to aim above their heads, which, uh, which means uh, drop comes into it. Uh, so that is very, very good. It took me a while to get used to that because I was never used to that. Because when you play mod uh, like Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2, you aim, you shoot, the bullet goes exactly where you aim it. But in this game and in Battlefield 3, you have to aim above, so you've got to take into consideration the science of uh, bullets where after the distance the bullet drops, so you have to take that into consideration. And I finally got into doing uh, the sniping part. Uh, it took me about two attempts to do it, but once I got to use to it, it was very, very good. It's very realistic. Uh, the kick and the guns are realistic. And the uh, storyline, very, very good. So I'll give that a nice 9 out of 10. Right then. Graphics-wise, for the um, story and campaign, it's fantastic. Uh, you can't fault it. Very, very good. And I'll give that 10 out of 10. So, so far, that's not too bad. Right, and now we're going on to the multiplayer aspects of the game. And start off... Uh, we'll start off with the graphics part. Because a lot of people have been complaining about the graphics and saying it's not as good as Battlefield 3. But if you remember playing Battlefield 3, uh, every time if you turned around quickly or anything like that, you, you, your graphics would go out of alignment slightly, so you had like a, a line effect. But uh, in this game, you don't have it so much. So yes, they've downed the graphics bit a bit, but I reckon in uh, hindsight, it's a very good idea because your graphics are a little bit more smoother. So to give uh, your graphics, I'll give it a oh, eight out of ten. So far, it's an average of nine out of ten. So we've got another two more. Uh, pl uh, multiplayer playing, uh, yes, the game types, uh, you've got a, cu a couple of game types, I haven't played them all, I've played the one which is very similar to uh, capture the f uh, domination on the Call of Duty where you've got three points and you have to, it's called sec uh, uh, sector control and you literally have to catch A, B and C, it's virtually the same as, it's not so much A, B, C, it's north, south and centre, that's what they call it. And you have to capture these spots. It's very, very the same, same as Domination. And it is very, very good. And this game is that sector control, as you can see. And I quite enjoy this game. This was my first game, and I finished off with a positive. We've got 10 kills, I think, but 5 deaths. And lost gets me, right? You've got a gap there, but you can't shoot for it. That let it down slightly on the online plane. So I'm going to have to rate the online plane. Uh, uh, at an 8 because where well, you've got gaps so you should be able to shoot through it's not shooting through so uh, and also beware you do have uh, out of map warnings <laughs> which I didn't spot at first because <laughs> you're running into their spawn and you're not allowed to do that <laughs> right uh, so you can't spawn hog <sighs> sorry about that but uh, saying that it is a good game it runs quite smooth uh, and it's not bad, but as I said, 8 to 10 because of certain aspects of the game. But let's get on to uh, right end, uh maps. So that's my first four categories again. Uh, we're now going to go on to maps. 
Right, and this is a little sore subject. Uh, maps, well, is a problem. Some of the maps, uh, I know it's like Battlefield 3, you're not meant to rush, you're meant to slow it down, take it in a turn, and you know, get yourself in a position where you get kills. But in some of the maps, it promotes, uh, it does promote slight camping for the team. If you get in a certain, certain uh, I played a, couple of, played a couple of maps last night with me, myself and Blues and Twos, and we did perfectly well, and we came to this one map, and done it twice in a row we had this one map, not twice in a row, but twice we played this one map, twice we got caught in a spawn trap. It, it's hard, you can only get out this one part of the map t in two different ways, and, we, and because you're there, you get obs you, and they're over it, you, you can't get out, and you, you're trapped, and then they start throwing fra frags, grenade launchers into the way you're, you're trapped in, and that's it, you can't get out, and you die a lot quicker. And also, one of the maps promotes camping because you've got this little cliffside place and there's around about four players which just camped on top of this cliffside and you just couldn't get them because they had it all covered and they were not even playing the objective. The other four players on their team was playing the objective and I mean, granted, they died a lot but they played the objective. These four just sat on top of things and they, I think they finished with, uh, I think one of them finished with uh, 15 kills, one death. And, it was all like that high in the teens and in the 20s kills, but hardly any deaths because they just wouldn't move from that one position. Uh, it was just annoying, but overall, I would say maps on this game, some of them are pretty good, some of them, uh, as I said, a little bit dire, because I, I don't think they thought of the, uh, what am I going again? Thought of the um, maps properly, but in the day, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, that gives it uh, an average score around about 8.5 out of 10, which is not too bad. Um, I will tell you one thing, um, they have sorted out a few problems with the menu, I noticed that. Um, if you remember, if you ever tried the beta test, you beta tested the uh, my model of War of Honor, War of Honor? Medal of Honor Warfighter, I can confuse you. Uh, if you beta tested, you knew when you were setting up your classes that you couldn't change your gun. You could only change your gun uh, to the way you wanted it in game. You can now change it in the menu before going, in going into the game. So you can go in, set up all your classes ready, and then when you go in, you choose which class you want to play, and that class is ready set up for you, which is a lot better than last time. If you're wondering how to get rid of your unused tokens, it's quite simple. Go on to Battle, Battle Medal of Honor Battle Log. Oh, no, www.battlelogmedalofhonor forward slash nations choose what nation you are use uh, those tokens and voila you get if you like i said earlier i had uh, i think 19 uh, no 23 unused um tokens i uh, exchanged them so my country went up a bit in the charts at the same time i gained myself a thousand xp so Collect them till you get enough XP and that like I'm gonna have to play today you know to get some more tokens so I get extra two tokens and if I do the same tomorrow I get an extra three tokens and that works on to seven days. So it's a seven day competition. Apparently uh, the winning country last week's winning country was well, so far was Zimbabwe. Hmm, that was interesting. So <laughs> that was also too bad. Yes, there is a slight problem with fire teams at the moment. Uh, I, they haven't quite sorted it out. Uh, it's, at first, we thought, myself and Bluetooth thought that they had sorted out fire teams. Where in the beta, if you join the game with yourself and your friend, half the time it put you in two single uh, fire teams, so you had to uh, play on your own. Unfortunately, uh, that still happens, but not a lot, but it still does happen. Myself and Bluetooth, we played a, a lot last night, and we, most of them, we were playing together. An odd few games where we went in together and for some daft reason it chucked us on op uh, opposite team, uh, no, not the same team, but opposite fire team, and we're on our own. And you should, as I agree with one, uh, one of the uh, videos I watched on YouTube, they should give you the option. This fucking player shit, put the shits at me because he tried to stab me. I thought he was the enemy. Oh. Uh, they should give you the option, if you're on your own, to join another fire team which is not on their own. So you can come at a pair and you know you can heal yourself and last longer. If you're out, uh, Without help, you die a lot easier. Except for one of the, um, I did notice in one of the game types, you can reload yourself and heal yourself off another fire team person. If he's a single, it's I can't remember. It's like a hardcore version of one of the maps where you got four, no, three bomb plants, play areas to bomb, uh, plant the bomb and defend the bomb. 
and in there uh, you don't have no mini mini map on the bottom it's just you know virtually it's what you call hardcore you virtually you're gonna have to use the set and listen out to look around be cautious and you can heal yourself by using a, a fellow teammate it doesn't have to be in your own team uh, fire team a fellow teammate will heal you well I thought I was pretty good I found that out by mistake yesterday when I saw the X button come up so that was that's not too bad right and I uh, overall I'm enjoying playing this game and I recommend you to get it it's a nice little uh, uh, distraction from Call of Duty uh, I have got rid of my Modern Warfare 3 because it was shit and <laughs> I've got I've just had enough of it well I hope you enjoy this game this is my first review I say it's giving it a nice eight and a half out of ten worth buying so till next time it's me Will saying bye